In this video, I'll be showing you how to uh, export uh, coordinates from a civil 3D application into Excel. Uh, so, open up your civil 3D application, and uh, for my case, I have this uh, triangle here. I want to uh, create points on each and every uh, corner of vertices, and then I'm going to generate the coordinates, then export to Excel. So, to create points, in CO 3D, uh, go to points tab at the top here, and then uh, under points, there is this create points miscellaneous. Press cursor on it and then select manual. Now, uh, click on each and every uh, vertex, vertex, but before that, make sure that uh, you have uh, the correct snapping tool. Uh, for this case, I I'm going to choose intersection. Uh, then click on that and give your point the first name uh, for this case uh, that point I'm going to call it F1 hit enter and then the elevation because I'm not inserted in it I'm going to give it 0 and enter the first point has been created go to the second point I'm going to call it F2 enter and 0 enter the third point I call it F3 enter the elevation is zero as well and then lastly uh, click on it and then give it a four enter the elevation as well is zero enter so I'm going to click ex escape and then close down this flyer uh, dialog box uh, so if I want to display the names of these uh, points that I've just created I'm going to click on one of them then uh, right click go to properties or just click uh, select similar go to home and select uh, properties you can also go to properties by right clicking inside here then uh, go to properties tab and this will uh, open as well then under points label uh, you can see it's default we can change that to description only now we have these cogo points uh, you can view the uh, coordinates of each and every point that we just created. Just go to uh, points and uh, point list and you can see here we have uh, four points. Now we can either export this, uh, these points from here. You can just select the first one, press down shift and select the last one. Right click inside and export so that's the first method but uh, the quick way if you have so many points go back to points tab and then uh, you'll see this import stroke export points uh, select the export points then you can choose the format the uh, numerous uh, formats you can choose you can sel either select nothing easting and elevation uh, nothing uh, point nothing easting but for this case uh, I'm going to choose point name elevation, uh, easting elevation and description. So and then uh, you select the destination file where you want to store your points in Excel. So I'm going to select that and uh, I want it in my on the desktop. The file type here I'll be choosing uh, CSV but you can as well select TXT or another format that you want. For this case, I'm going to select CSV and I'm going to give it point uh, names. So I'll name my CSV file as uh, generated points like so. Uh, sorry, uh, generated points like that, and then uh, click open. And then, okay. Now. I save that then I can uh, minimize that now you can see we have uh, the CSV point here I can as well double click on it and um, make some uh, sorry so I can make some changes here so you can see we have this 
I can delete that. I don't need that. So we have these values here and these uh, values. Then this is uh, elevation. I can get rid of it. Now we have three columns. Uh, so we can go back to Civil uh, 3D to know exactly which point is nothing and which point is easting. Uh, but before that, just go to Civil 3D to point list again. You can check, you can see this uh, series negative 145 is the nothing. So this is the nothing, as you can see. Then uh, we are going to insert a row right there. Just highlight the first row, then click insert. Uh, we're going to call that station. Then at press tab. Not uh, this is nothing. This nothing. Then press tab. This is easting. And then lastly. This is a uh, station, but uh, station you can put station the first uh, column. Right click, cut, and paste it right there. So, control select that and uh, center highlight. Then I can right click, go to format, and numbers i want it in two decimal places so that's it you can see we have our points we have generated our points from uh, this civil 3d so uh, that's all for today and uh, see you